So we have one more project uh, to do on this uh, machine torch. I've got a Kalamazoo indexer here uh, with a 1 inch 5C collet and I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill uh, to cut a groove that's about seven and a half millimeters wide in this so that uh, I can fit this Oedeker clamp in here and then I'm going to machine another groove that's perpendicular to that one uh, on center uh, for a contact piece. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just duplicating what Hypertherm sells you for 35 or 40 bucks. Um, you know, the new torch didn't come with one. I don't see any point in buying another one. So you know if that's 12,000 smaller, we need to go in six. Yeah, let's zero that. Whoa. Flip it 180. We'll check zero again. Yep, okay, we're zero. Splintering a little bit. So let's take this off.
Extract that. Clean this off a bit. So I, uh, I got all this cleaned up. Here's the, uh, the tip or the barrel assembly, whatever you want to call it. I don't remember what it's called in the manual. But there's a groove milled in it, and then there's a flat milled right there. And then here's the contact tip, the copper contact tip. And then to make this little piece, which I basically copied the hyperthermal one, I just took one of these clamps and I uh, cut it apart with some tin snips. Um, you know, these are 316 stainless, I believe. That's what they look like to me. So, the way this works is this fits right here. You can see that where it kind of has a little groove right there that fits like that. And then, what I'm going to do, this is going to be a little challenging, I think. Um, Let's try it this way. Is this going to be difficult? Ooh, this might be difficult. Interesting trick. Hmm. Maybe I put it over here and then it gives me enough room to slide this up in here. There we go. Okay, so I got that lined up at the flat. Let's bring the clamp around and I think I've got that set up. Let's get that lined up there and I'll give it a good Okay, I think that's good. Now, I can see now the danger of this design here. That tends to, well, that kind of bent up a little bit. Let's bend that back, make sure it'll contact the contact tip. Yeah, I'm not really happy with that. I can't feel it. I can't see. See, I can. Yeah. See, now I've got that bent down. There we go. Okay, let's put the nozzle back in there. The electrode swirl ring. And screw this puppy back together. And I can already see a flaw in my design. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Clocking's okay. There. So now I can just slide one of those on there and I've got my touch indicator yeah I can feel that's touching the copper now a little bit of a spring to it yeah that's real good there okay well now I've uh, got the omic tip on there uh, I will say that this is not as nice as the one you can get from uh, Hypertherm, and uh, but you know I kind of made a gamble whenever I bought this torch that it would come with the omic tip because I've seen literature with the omic tip and you know I've seen diagrams without the omic tip, so it's really it was a 50/50 shot that it was going to come with it. I'm sure. You know, there was only one part number. It was like 088010. Uh, and I just ordered based on that part number. So why some of them have omic tips in the pictures, I don't know. But it, anyway, 
I made one. So 